Hi, this is Adam Kunzmiller with Board Game Geek at Gen Con 2017, and I'm joined by Colby Dow with Plat Hat Games, and we're here to talk about Stuffed Fables. So this this is a storyboard game. So what's that mean? Well, it's a it's a game that's played in a book. So that's one of the the cool things about this is uh, you have this book that's from the designer uh, uh, of Mice and Mystics, Jerry Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's got. All that whimsy and story nice. uh, that you found there, um, but it will start with an intro to the story, and the intro will have like a little optional fable that you can read uh, that's going to like relate to the tale of the story, but in a you know in a mm -hmm. Aesop's fable kind of sure, sure. literature style. Uh, and then you start to get right into the game, and oh, and it's built in here. It looks yeah, and like your that. miniatures go straight on the board, and this will this will you'll have you reading things. Uh, just to set the tone and maybe have a little bit of info on setup or a special rule for the tile. And and then as you play through and certain things happen, it'll direct you to go to different sections. And you mm -hmm. might go to different sections depending on choices you've made. Uh, or I noticed made, there's these QR codes. Is that just a jump straight to the digital section? or uh, No, so the QR codes, uh, those are only in the first story of the book. And the oh, first story is set up in such a way that you can just learn the game straight by jumping into the interactive first story. tutorial kind of and thing. You, if you put your phone over that, uh, Ronnie Smith will pop up and he'll tell you about the rule that you need to know about right now to keep. Ah, playing. perfect. Uh, so, uh, and then as you get into it, you you end up with these tiles with these uh, different icons. So, like this eye icon means if Lumpy the elephant is there, uh, you go over here and you'll read a bit of story, you might end up with a decision, or go down some, some new path. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to these little uh, s these little speech bubble symbols, you'll encounter some of the inhabitants of the world, which are these uh, lost and broken toys that are in need of aid, and, and you'll come across them, and they're they're almost like a, our, our Crossroads card system from Data Winner, mm -hmm. uh, where you end up with this choice that you have to make. So uh, the theme of the game is that you are these, these stuffed animals and you are in charge of uh, protecting your little girl from the monsters under the bed, basically. Oh, nice. Uh, and through a mishap on your first night on duty, uh, when, you're, when your girl's sleeping in the big girl bed for the first time, uh, you end up sucked into this portal under the bed into, into this realm that uh, that's basically ruled by this demagogue, this nightmare king, mm -hmm. who's oppressing his people, and uh, and the each story that you play through is a different milestone in this little girl's life, and so it's kind of a great game for families to play to play with their kids. So this is her first night uh, with in without a diaper on, mm -hmm. uh, and and it continues to go until she's about ten years old. Oh wow. And, um, and each each story uh, has a couple of different endings that are that are possible, and uh, depending on how you did, you'll get one ending or the other. Neither are negative, but but one's sure. more overwhelmingly positive than. So the how other. many stories are in this? Uh, uh, there's seven this within this, and, and we'll release one online as well uh, that we took out of the book uh, because it was it's a little bit scarier than some of the other ones. Sure. So we wanted to make sure that. Uh, that we had a really family-friendly book here. So, I'm actually a huge fan of these types of games. I love them. But how, for people who play these, I'm sure there's natural comparisons to like Tales of Arabian Nights, Above and Below. How does this compare to those or distinguish from those? So I'd say this specific book, uh, while it has like branching paths and different options and different choices made that'll affect the story, it's a little more linear than that. We, we have the opportunity yeah. to tell a more complete Yeah, you tale. get a more robust right. story um, as a result. And. The, the game system in this is is interesting. You actually have a, a dice pouch. It's got 35 dice in it, and you're pulling and drawing dice out of out of that pouch. Mm. And uh, each of the dice will have like a different attribute. And these aren't final colors. None of these components are are final materials, but they're close. Oh, wow. uh, these are changed a little bit to, to these are really nice for non-final colorblind. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, depending on the dice you pull, uh, like, purple's wild and red represents strength. The different kind of things that you're going to be able to do for that turn. White is your stuffing and will let you uh, put more stuffing into your character with your life points. That's awesome. Uh, that you can share with your, uh, you can take stuffing out if somebody else is and in need. And give it to somebody else. That's great. Stuffing. And uh, really the goal was to just 
tell a meaningful story, uh, you know, and 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 really was a game with something to say. So is this um, fully cooperative? This is a fully cooperative, 100% okay. cooperative. Uh, yeah, and uh, and if there's also this really neat like discovery element to it too. So each story has its own discovery deck, and so as you're playing, you know, new cards will enter the game, you, and, mm -hmm. and and things like that. Um, and it's really just a beautiful game, and Jerry just did an excellent job. Uh, yeah, I don't know how well the camera has picked it up, but the the book is is gorgeous, and I, you know. yeah, it's this big. Yeah, I don't know how much the overhead camera's picking this up, but it's this big, thick tone. Yeah. And well, I'm gonna actually, cause, uh, so that I can zoom in on it, I'm gonna double it over so you can see what these other sides look like a little better. But yeah, where you get the the play grid with the different things that you know. Exactly very cool. right. And how long would a would a single story take to play? So a single story is uh, about sixty to ninety minutes mm -hmm. uh, to play through. And what? How many players does it support? Uh, it supports up to four players. Very cool. So and it's one to four. You can play it solo as well. Awesome. Uh, I think the ideal play experience is is in a group. Uh, sure. Each story ends with some, and it ha they'll have some optional talking points uh, to to kind of get the table talking about what they just experienced. And nice. Very cool. Um, is this when is this going to be available? This will this will be available. Uh, Later this year, um, the plan is to have it out by Christmas, and I think it'll make a stellar Christmas gift. Uh, if you're a gamer with kids, like mm -hmm. this is your game. That's awesome. Um, but also, if you just have a game group that, that likes this kind of whimsy, you know, this is an excellent story with a that it's really unique. Well, very cool. Thank you, Colby, for uh, talking me through the uh, stuffed fables. Thank you.